I'm having a great day. And I had to ruin my day by turning on my never wanting to show up for game one. Inconsistent. Had to play Rondo. Los Angeles Lakers. Man, oh man. Lakers versus Rockets. Game one of what I believe will be a very long series. At least I'm hoping. Because we got to at least extend this thing out to five. We did not do too well in game one. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to get the box score. I'm so pissed. All we had to do was come out and play our game. I have so many comments about this game because I did watch this bad boy live. Good block from Davis on West. Westbrook got blocked a few times in this game. Lakers up four zip. I'm happy. I'm thinking we about to look at this. Danny, come on, y'all. Come on, Kings. Look at us. Seven zip. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, Braun on hard. Oh. All right, cool. I'm fine with that. Send him right into my big Javel. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh, look at that pass. Braun. AD, it's looking good right now, y'all. Look at this. I like that D from JaVale. Pause. See, but I'm still fine with Westbrook. Westbrook can do that all, all game. A, a mid-range jump over my big. Fine with that. And what pissed me off is this rotation that the Lakers went with, with KCP down the, out of the game down the stretch. I'll talk about it more in a second. We're tied at 12. Go get you two, Bron. Right at Daniel House. And one. I'm happy right now, y'all. 14, 12, midway through the first. James Harden just got away with the travel. Okay, LeBron's not going to step to Eric Gordon. Bad defense, but okay. Now, here's where the weirdness starts. AD on Harden. That's too easy. There's no back backup big in the game. Okay, so you played up on Harden the first play. Now we're going to step... We're going to sit back and let Harden have that. So some confusion on defense. Okay, it's a new series. Dame and Harden don't play alike. Kuzma, like it. Still a, still a decent start by my Lakers. I'm still happy, right? I'm not mad at all. Look, not ideal for how I want to play Westbrook. I'm fine with that. Lakers down five. Look at that move from Braun. He didn't get fouled, but they caught it anyway. I'm I'm fine with the Lakers start right now. We're down four, but I'm good. Rondo, this is when I everything from here on out I hate. I don't want Rondo shooting threes. He made that one. No harm, no foul. Oh, he kept shooting. All right. Look at this. Doc Rivers, son, Austin Rivers, and Dwight. And Austin says, can I have this dance? And drills the three. LeBron finds Caruso in the corner. I thought the Lakers really, really figured their offense out against Portland as Covington gets one to go. But Rondo, who had been out with a broken hand, finds his way back in the... Oh! Le look at that concern in the face of JaVale McGee! Oh! Brace yourself for King James coming down the lane. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to relive that moment. We got to relive that. We ain't just going to. We ain't just going to skate past that. Caruso, LeBron down the line. <laughs> Is it year 17 or year 7? Nuts in your face. Let me see that one more. Ooh. Look, at the, look at the real concern in the face of JaVale McGee. Hold on, no, we ain't done with that. We ain't done. I just started this bad boy over. We, we ain't done with that. One more gig. I got to watch that 
One more time. I want y'all to see the level of concern. I'm gonna pause it. Look at the real genuine concern. Oh! That's nasty. I want y'all to see the to see the real genuine. Look at the genuine. Ah, 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 ah. Look at the. Oh Lord. Oh my goodness. Look at the genuine concern for Russell Westbrook's well-being that JaVale McGee has. Look at that look. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a duck. Look, Laker fans, we got to celebrate something because the Rockets kicked our ass in the fourth quarter. Look at that one. James Harden going right at Dwight. And one. Pick it up. Yep, pick it up. 42-37. Rockets up. Right past Danny Green. You know, Danny Green came out with a statement yesterday and was pretty much talking about the bandwagon Laker fans. About how, like, if you ain't real Laker fan, you... You were talking about my bad play in the first round. You ain't a real Laker fan. I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, you just got on the team, by the way. And you played awful. I thought he was going to come out and have a 20-point night. The way he was talking. He came out. What was, what was Danny Green from the field as AD drills the two? AD going to do it again? I feel you, big fella. Danny Green was 4 for 12 from the field, 2 for 7 from the three-point line. He had 10 points. He was talking like he was going to go out and have... Look at him. I, 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 I rock with that. He was atrocious in that second half. Look at Rondo. I'm not mad at Rondo for driving. I, I just think... How many shots Rondo get up? Rondo got up nine shots. Four shots too many for me. I'm looking at... Rondo had nine shots. How many turnovers did Rondo have? Rondo had a decent amount of turnovers in this one, man. Westbrook was super aggressive in this one. Russell Westbrook had 24 points, 24 shots, but I mean, hey, Harden had a, a really great game. Let's try to move on to the second half here. Lakers come out, play better basketball. It's Braun, JaVale. So timeout Houston. Looking like the Lakers about to make that run and, and you know, get rid of get rid of the Rockets. But Harden, Lakers play terrible basketball. Look at this. Oh, give me that. Braun meets Russell Westbrook. He was just disrespectful to Westbrook all in this game. And then they one on the other end. I'm thinking my Lakers about to take off. Look at this bad pass from Braun. I feel like the Lakers didn't do a good job at a multitude of things. I'll tell you a couple of them right now. I don't think they did a good job of getting Anthony Davis the ball. Anthony Davis was effective when he had it. 10 of 16 from the field, 25 points, 14 rebounds, but just didn't get enough touches. And while we're talking about Anthony Davis, to be fair to the other guys on the Lakers, P.J. Tucker forced Anthony Davis. He's not in the game right now. But when Tucker was in the game, he forced A.D. a couple steps out of that painted area where he started his post position. AD's got to catch that ball on the box and be ready to go. And, you know, if AD's going to work his ass off to get in that position to, to catch the post, uh, to, to be ready in that position to catch some posts, look at where AD's starting at. I mean, he makes a good move there. He had a, a little bit of a step there to, to get to the rim, but he needs to catch the ball at the post. And the Lakers got to give him the ball, reward the big fella when he puts in the work to get down low. A lot of possessions. I saw LeBron, definitely Rondo. Just look AD off. And you better be a you better have a great shot. If you're telling me you shooting a jumper is better than AD anything around the post. Look at where AD catches the rock the rocket. Passes the Brun there for a three. It's a four-point game. But the Lakers, just like the Milwaukee Bucks earlier, were trash in the fourth quarter. Look at Russ. I see Kuzma on me. I'm not afraid of him. It is young in that. Let me give him that business. You do not want Westbrook to catch. His confidence in his game. Fourth quarter, Eric Gordon was ready to put on a tap dance show. He was destroying the Lakers. Like I said earlier, I thought the Lakers made too much of an effort to get Rajon Rondo going. Look at this disrespect that they're giving Rondo. He makes this one, right? But trust and believe, Rondo was not good. We're not showing you any of the misses. Remember that. It's all about the, the make turn, this highlight. Rondo was not good. Look at that defense on Eric Gordon. 
for some odd reason, the Lakers were dedicated to doubling Russell Westbrook. If you want to double hard, I get that. Doubling Westbrook? What? Why? You want Westbrook taking as many shots as possible as LeBron sends that crap out of bounds. You want Westbrook shooting. Look, he's about to give AD that business, right? This one is the one that put the game away. And he's talking that mess. But I'm fine with that. If, if Westbrook's going to beat us with three-pointers, hey, they're the better man. They're going to win this series. It's a 17-point game. James Hart. Oh, look at that. Danny Green, get you some smoke. And one. And it is a foul. Danny Green, get you that smoke. Look at Harden kind of eyeing down AD. Lakers ain't scoring nothing in like four minutes until then. James Harden, give him credit, man. 36 points, 12 or 20 from the field. I get I get 60 from Westbrook and Harden. I don't get enough of a paint presence from LeBron and AD. LeBron, 20 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 7 15 from the field. Danny Green, 4 for 12. Only two shots for JaVale McGee and one shot for Dwight Howard. Are you serious? This is a disaster stat line for the Lakers. I get three shots for JaVale and Dwight combined? And Rondo puts up nine shots? Kuzma puts up nine shots? Danny Green puts up 12 shots? Hope gives me eight shots? And two shots for my big fellas? When the tallest guy that they got on the court, the, the guy playing center for Tucker is 6'6", six, 6'7"? Six, six, Are you serious? That was a terrible game plan from the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, Frank Vogel, I got to give you some blame for that one, my brother. What was that? The emphasis on Rajon Rondo. Somebody needs to sit Rondo down. Kind of the same things that we have with Russell Westbrook. Kind of doing his own thing too much. I want to call Rondo out as well. Somebody needs to sit Rondo down and explain to him what's the strategy here. It's not for you to get nine shots. Wow, your big fellas, JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard only get three shots combined. That is not going to work. More inside presence. If you want to play Rockets basketball with the Rockets, you're going to lose. The reason why the Oklahoma City Thunder had success against the Rockets, one of the reasons why was because they did not play the Rockets game. All right? Chris Paul was dedicated to the mid-range. Dennis Schroeder was dedicated to getting to the rim. They mucked the game up. And again, one thing about that Houston Rockets team that I've always given them credit for, they can front run. If, if you're, if you're going to take the pressure away from James Harden and Russell Westbrook, which neither of these guys have ever liked, like you saw how tentative they were in game seven against the OKC Thunder, because they don't like pressure. They don't like it. You start giving these guys a one, two game series lead, you in trouble. You are in a whirlwind of trouble. Lakers got to come out and win game two. I don't care what nobody said. Got to come out and win game two on Monday. You got to come out, or Sunday, excuse me. You got to come out and win game two. I am not happy with that performance from the Lakers. They will be better in game two. They better be if they want to win a championship this year. Another thing that's got to be in the Lakers, the back of the Lakers' mind, I don't know how much they're looking for, but, you know, the Clippers are probably going to get rid of the Nuggets in four games. Worst case, five games. You don't want the Clippers to be well-rested while you're in a dogfight with the Houston Rockets. LeBron is one of the greatest at making adjustments after game one. So we will see. But there were some things that I, I you know, I looked at from that Lakers Rocket series and I said the Lakers could be better at that. If they just do this, they will be better and they will have a chance to win games. Actually, I look at game one against the Rockets more optimistically speaking than I did against the Trailblazers. I thought the Lakers were in trouble after the game one series against the, the Portland, uh, Portland Trailblazers last round. But this one, I just think they need to make some adjustments Feed the post more. I hope Frank Vogel has the voice. Jason Kidd's got the voice in that locker room and say, yo, this is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. Less jump shots, more paint. Give the Rockets all the credit in the world. You know, the truth of the matter is, and I know people won't believe this, but statistically speaking, the Rockets are playing the best defense in the NBA right now. They just held the Lakers, the number one team in the West, under 100. The Thunder were the most efficient team offensively all season long. They held them to a couple of bad games and beat them in seven. Come on now, Lakers. Y'all got to wake it up. Because uh, the Rockets ain't going to beat themselves. Actually, they might, actually. I'm, I'm lying. Y'all let me know what y'all took away from game one. Lakers, Rockets. Rockets take game one. Final score. 
112 hold the Lakers under a point, 100 points. They only got the 97. That ain't going to fly. All right? I'm out.